In my time of playing Krunker, I have killed a lot of Chromebook players, plenty of kids that were definitely playing at school, and oh boy, have I been hackusated. A term in Krunker, known for someone accusing you of cheating when you're not. And I thought to myself, some people just really don't understand how Krunker works or the mechanics. So that's what I'm going to teach them in this video today. Let's get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a lot of stuff to cover. Timestamps for everything in this video will be in the description. So if there's a certain part of the video you want to find, boom, bish, bash, bosh, get it there. Level 15 Deagle, level 20 Sword Off, level 25 Auto Pistol, level 50, and you unlock the Alien Blaster. The Deagle has just proven itself to be the absolute best secondary in this game, purely because you have six bullets. Most classes, you can tend to one-tap headshot them if they're, if they're weak, such as snipers or shotguns. Also, once you're level 30, you can start completing challenges and up your challenge level. This is an easy way to get KR in the game. But yeah, the basics are, are go around, shoot people with your guns. If you can get 25 kills, you can drop a nuke as we saw earlier. You can throw your knife by holding down right click and then pressing left click. And there's plenty of classes in the game. Let's move on to classes. Okay, so I'm very, very quickly going to go through all the classes in the game. So get ready. Trigger man, 100 HP, assault rifle, 30 bullets, decent fire rate. Hunter is your sniper class. Uh, run and gun is your SMG that has wall jumping. Machine gun, you, you jump lower than a normal player, which allows you to slide hop faster, which I'll get to in a minute. Shotgun is the easiest class in the game. Please don't use it against me. I will smash my keyboard. Uh, you got a revolver class, semi-auto, rocket launcher, which you can also boost with. Akimbo Uzis, where you can wall jump. Runner is just a combat knife. Bowman, you have a crossbow. For Mando, you have a Famas Trooper. You get to use a blaster, which isn't that good. And Survivor is soon TM for the survival mode that they're adding later this year. So one of the most interesting aspects about Krunker is the customization in the settings. I just made a video on the settings that I use and I went really in depth into this. So if you want to take a look at my settings, check out that video. But I'm going to briefly go over the main settings that you want to look at and the main five that you want to change. The first one is your field of view. I would highly recommend you stick to 90 FOV. I explain why in the settings video you want to avoid bullet warping. It's just the most, I mean, if you want to see more, maybe crank that all the way up. Do not use 150 FOV. You will have a horrible time hitting your shots, but 90 FOV default. Sensitivity, all personal preference. Just make sure your sensitivity is okay and that it's comfortable for you. Okay, crosshair is an interesting one. You will have to find a crosshair somewhere online. If you literally just Google Krunker crosshair transparent image, you can just paste it straight in. If you're using the sniper, I highly suggest you disable scope borders so that you won't have big black bars around your sniper when you scope. And finally, I would recommend you pick a scope that you like. You can pick out of these ones here. There are a few ones made by content creators. So yeah, that's settings done. Let's move on to the most exciting part about Krunker, slide hopping. All right, so to cover the basics here, you may have noticed in the guide in Krunker, it teaches you the very, very basics of slide hopping. We're going to go a little bit more in depth than this guide here, and I'm going to teach you the key that you need to pick up a lot of speed in Krunker if you want to start slide hopping. It's jumping and sliding, similar to Black Ops 3 movement mechanics. It's just holding W, and as you hit the ground, you want to hit your slide button, and then at the very end of that, you want to jump. So you slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump. And I'm literally just holding W right now. It may take you a, a hot second to get used to this. Literally holding W, shift space, shift space, shift space, shift space. The quicker you hit shift, the, the further you are going to be able to jump and the more speed you're going to be able to build up. So what the Krunker guide doesn't tell you is that you can actually strafe to build up stupid amounts of speed. So I'm going to give you an example of what it looks like when, I, when I'm, I'm B hopping by, while using strafes. So as you can see, as I'm turning corners here, you may not notice that what I'm actually doing to be able to turn corners is using my A and D keys. And if I'm going around a corner that's to the left, I want to hold jump and hold D. If I'm going around a corner that goes right, I want to hold the opposite key and I want to hold A and W. So going around a corner like this, I'm holding A and W, A and W as I proceed to hit a bush. And then D and W around this corner, D and W. And basically the whole time that I'm B hopping, all I'm doing is holding A and D, A or D. And you just wanna, you just wanna keep moving your uh, fingers to whatever kind of corner you're turning. So I'm going left, so I hold the right. I'm going left again, so I hold D. 
And by doing that, you can essentially build up a lot of speed. Those are the very basics of slide hopping. If you want to see an in-depth guide, Frosty Wolf made an absolutely amazing video that I've recommended a million times on my streams to people. Um, but that is the basics of slide hopping. From there, my friends, I think I've given you the very beginning of it. It is all for you to practice. Okay, moving on from slide hopping, I would like to quickly cover mods. Mods are how I get my game to look this pretty vibrant and have these beautiful purple boxes. There are a lot of mods you can choose from in Crunker and it's very simple to equip any of them. You just go to the mods tab down here. There are a lot of mods you can choose from here. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the Cashy Dank mod, which is the mod I'm currently using. Um, Waspy has a mod. Basically, any streamer or content creator you can think of has a mod. And there are thousands of, of different mods. You can make your game look like Halo. There's like a Valorant mod as well that you can install. So I definitely look into mods. You can play around them, have fun with them. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover that in this video very briefly. Okay, so moving away from the gameplay side, uh, I would like to very quickly talk about the hub. The Crunker hub is something very, very new in Crunker. We have what essentially is like Twitter, where you can basically post a message saying whatever you want. Smile for YouTube. Let's go back to that at the end of the video and see if anybody's commented back. Um, you can also edit giveaways. So if people are doing giveaways, all you have to do is simply follow them and drop a like on the post and then boom, you could possibly win this KR within four hours. There's also a friend system where you can friend people on the game if you both follow each other, then we can, then you can message. As you can see, I've messaged Sydney saying he should add girls to Krunker. What you want to look at when looking at clans is the clan war. This is where clans can compete for one of eight regions. Basically, each clan can deploy 50 players. You get to deploy 50 people from your clan, and the winner of that region walks away with the reward from that clan, which in Asia is the car, which I really want, and however much KR went into that region that, that week. But most high tier clans aren't going to accept you if you're just requesting game. You have to join discords, and I would recommend just becoming better and just focusing on your own gameplay before looking for a clan. It's pretty competitive, and you can compete for like being one of the top 100 players that week with the most kills in the least amount of time as i said you get four hours to get as many kills as possible so making it onto that leaderboard would be a big statement and would get you looked at by a lot of clans and that is the secret okay we are moving on to the final section of this video ladies and gentlemen you want to know how you get all those fancy skins in Krunker? you see people with unobtainables contrabands and relics well, there are a lot of different skins in Krunker, and there are a lot of different ways that you can obtain them, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first way you can get items in Krunker is by simply going over to the shop over here, heading over to the prize wheels, and there are different wheels you can spin. Um, sometimes you'll be able to re redeem a free spin. In certain updates, they will release free spins that you can possibly get win a relic in. Um, we have starter spins, elite spins, heroic spins, and valor spins coming soon. That is going to be integrated with the new rank system. Don't get tempted with the starter and elite spins. Definitely always stick to the heroics. You have chances of spinning contrabands and unobtainables in these spins, and I'll, I'll even do one right now for you. You know what? Why, why, why not just spin it all? I, I, I might be slightly addicted. Oh my god, that was a little bit too close. That is unfortunate. That, there, I got completely debated. Also, the KR that you get from games, you can get up to 30 KR a game. I made a video on seven different ways that you can earn KR in the game. Um, those are like the easiest ways, so I'm, go watch that video. But once you get the KR from playing games or spinning an item, you can take it to the market. The market is where people sell their items. You can search for items. You can sell your own items at a 10% tax fee. So if I wanted to list this deagle up for 600 KR, it would cost me a 60 KR fee to list it. But once it's listed, um, you can see your sales here and you can just wait for somebody to buy it. You can also get items through the black market. So a one year or a two year cape, which you probably aren't going to get if you just start playing the game. Nuke Tamer, there are a thousand nukes. USS Crunk for level 50 runner, which is with a combat knife. Level 100 sniper, you get scout mastery. If you get 10,000 throwing knife kills, you get a shuriken. Level 100 SMG class, you get a Bison, and level 100 Triggerman class, you get an M4A1. You can also trade in this game, so people can send you trades via the market, as you can see this guy wants to trade. Um, sure, I'll accept that just for you, dude. You can send trades simply by going to somebody's profile, and as long as they're above level 20, there should be a trade button here, and then you can request their items, and there will be a like slight trade fee, depending on how much the items cost so as you can see if i put in some really rare items here 
the price of the trade is going to go up a lot and i'm going to pay a lot of kr to send this another way you can get items is the new limited store which is which is about to go away but it will be returning soon at some point these items in the future are not going to be tradable but currently after the limited item shop is gone these items will be tradable for the new limited shop after this won't be so if you want these items you'll be able to buy them from the limited shop when that appears oh i think we're done if you learned anything from this video i'd appreciate it if you can drop a sub drop a like maybe um i'll be streaming on twitch right now actually if you want to come over say hello let me know if this video helped you i appreciate the feedback um did i miss something is there more you want to know come have a discussion with me over on my twitch channel thank you so much for watching i'll be posting more crunker content soon we've got loads of videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one peace